Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a lesson on probability. This is a lesson for grade 10s. Probability is something that is there in life. When they tell you about the chance, 30% chance of the rain tomorrow, that's a probability. So we're going to use a formula to calculate the probability. The probability of an event occurring is equal to N E over N S. So we're going to learn what these symbols stand for. The P is for the probability. The E is for the event that we want. And then the N is the number of the event that we want. And then this N is the number of the sample space. The sample space is the total outcomes that are there. So when you write this, you find the probability of an event. We're going to look at an example and use the formula and see how it works. Now we look at the example of how we write probability or how we find probability. Here we have a sample space. Our sample space are numbers from 1 up to 10. So if the question says, write down the sample space for the experiment. The sample space, they want the sample space. So you're going to write N and then the sample space. Then you count how many they are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. So it means in my sample space, I have 10 possible outcomes. Okay, the second one. They say, determine the probability of getting a 5. So, this question they are asking probability. So, you have probability 5. Probability of getting a 5. According to our formula, is the total number of out outcomes that we have. How many 5s do we have in our sample space? We have 1. Out of how many possible outcomes that have they? 10. So, you have 1 chance out of 10 chances to get a 5. So this is how you write the probability. Now the third one. Number three says that determine the probability of getting a prime number. So you want to write probability prime. The P is for probability. Here you write the event that you want. Now you want to go to the sample space and count how many prime numbers you have. One is not a prime number. Two and three, five and seven. So they are one, two, three, four. We have four outcomes that we want over the total outcome is ten. So prime number, we're not dealing with probability. We leave the fraction in its simplest form. So this is going to be 2 over 5. Right. Now I want you to notice another difference. The, the P, you write it in capital letter, meaning probability of whatever event you write between the brackets. Now with question number 1, N is written in small letter, is the number of the event that you write inside the bracket. So you, you need to look at the question and see what did they ask you. Did they ask you the number or did they ask you the probability? Um, and answer the correct question. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you.